थ्री टू वन नाइस so we bought some of the most popular bluetooth speakers in this price range and we'll also talk about smart speakers like alexa my name stop. is alexa and stop. i'm here to say i'm the best and as always link to all those speakers are in the description and those are affiliate links. fair disclaimer affiliate links you buy no extra cost we get commission thank you subscribe let's go first up we have this retro looking bluetooth speaker with phone holder now we have covered this before in our gadget video so i'll just keep it short it costs only 899 so see how it works you have to insert your smartphone like this then turn on bluetooth Bluetooth mode. Now, if you're watching movies with your friends, this would work really well. Like, see, this is my phone's volume, hundred percent. Definitely loud. Although there are few shortcomings in it as well, which you should know. Like, number one, the speaker is just five watts, so it isn't. crazy loud like just a bit louder than most phone speakers also the speakers are at the back it would have helped if the speakers were in front and the charging port is micro usb i mean what year is it 2015 makes sense micro usb for the future overall this is great if you want to watch netflix with your friends in bed when one has to hold the phone and the audio isn't too loud so this stand solves two problems at once or even during online classes it works as a stand and bluetooth speaker and how to get the right loud bluetooth speaker for a place we'll talk about it at the end there's a small hack and a bit of marketing gimmick next up we have the sony srs xb13 it costs 3740 a bit up and down depending on the color you choose now the first time you power on the speaker you will see a pop up on your phone helping you pair the bluetooth device using google fast pair talking about the build quality it's quite sturdy should i drop it manu <laughs> Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Now you get a power button on the side, followed by Bluetooth button. If you long press the Bluetooth button, it goes into stereo mode. So if you have another Sony speaker, you can pair both of them and use them together. Then there's play pause button. If you press the play button twice, it skips to the next song, and if you press it three times, it goes to the previous song. This is with all Bluetooth speakers. And then there is volume up and volume down button. You have this hidden USB type C port hidden inside this flap to make it waterproof. We'll test that waterproof claim in just a moment. The sound quality is very good. The bass is excellent and there is no distortion even at the highest volume. But there is one major thing you need to know before you buy the Sony XB13. The sound output isn't that high. I mean, it's loud enough for a small bedroom or the bathroom. It works if you want to enjoy movies on your laptop with a little bit high quality sound, but for a hall or more people, this is not loud enough. And they have a special power. Hold on. 3 2 1 Oh it's giving out bubbles and it is actually floating on the surface. So I don't know what you will do with this feature but this floats on water. This is IP67 waterproof so you can dip it in water. Also it has a mic. Practically the audio quality is in that reliable especially if you're sitting far away from the speaker. By the way this is the audio from the mic. All in all I would say if you want something for personal use and Sony branding this is a good option but Hold on for the next one. Next up is JBL Go 3. It costs two triple nine. Again, depending on the color, the price has changed. But it's cheaper than the Sony one, and I would say better. See up close, the design feels very solid and durable. Now it is better than their older JBL Go 1 and Go 2, both of which were already a massive bestseller. You get a power button and Bluetooth button on one side, and media control on top, and Type C port, and a strap on the other side to hold it in your finger like this. Nice. Interestingly, it's advertised at IP68, and yet the charging port has no cover. We'll test that out soon. Wait for it. Talking about the audio, it's actually pretty good. The bass is quite rich, which wasn't there in Sony ones, and at the same time, audio is clear and doesn't distort at 100% volume, which usually happens with almost all cheap Bluetooth speaker. So overall. I like the audio quality on this one. One thing I didn't like is it just has 5R battery backup and that too on 50 to 70% volume. So practically you will get somewhere like 3 to 4 hours on a 2.5 hours charge. It should have been at least 10 hours. The Sony ones have like 16 hours battery life. There are two more minor things I noticed. Number one, if you place it like this on a table and play song, it will just vibrate and shake, which is 
funny and two there's no mic on the bluetooth speaker so you cannot take calls or online classes but these are very minor points and JBL can work on them in the next version. Now before ordering, I did saw online reviews saying the speaker is not loud enough or it's just overrated. But if you look closely, they are the reviews from 2018, 2019. These are for the older version of JBL Go. I mean, Amazon should actually separate the older and newer version on review pages. Overall, if you're looking for one good portable speaker to buy this sale, I would recommend JBL Go 3 to most of you. It's small yet loud, offers good audio quality and yet is reasonably priced. Now, speaking of waterproof, now we'll play song on the JBL Go 3 and we'll put this in water. It's still playing the music. Like if you increase the volume. Nice. So yes, you can carry it to beach, pool, mountains, wherever you go. Hashtag Wanderlust. And finally, we have the Zebronix Zeb Sound Feast 500. I mean, it's a really good speaker and it is priced at 4499. Now, it is expensive, but the biggest thing is it has 70 watt speakers and see this is JBL GO 3 it has almost a 5 watt speaker so this Zebronic speaker has to be about 12 times louder than this like 12 into 6 kind of 72 well we'll get to that calculation now on the top of the speaker you get the usual media control button there's also a TWS mode so if you have two of these speakers you can pair them and have a huge party like party Zeb Sound Feast 500 is now connected Okay. Now it has this RGB lights, pretty cool, right? But if you don't like them, you can turn it off with a button. Should be off. Yeah. At the back side, you have the usual option. You can plug in your pen drive, SD card or aux cable and listen to the music. And it also has a type C port. The battery can last up to seven to eight hours. Okay, now about the 70 watt speaker. We'll keep the speaker over here and we'll play the music at about 100% volume. And this is an app called Decibel Meter and it will tell us exactly how loud the speaker is. So the highest is somewhere around 87, 88 decibels. Now same, we'll keep the JBL GO 3 at the same place and we'll keep the phone again here, one meter far away at the same place. And now 100% volume. So now this is maximum around 78 decibel, 78, 77 decibel. Now you'd be like, Pratik, how come there is only a difference of 10 decibels? Well, a 10 watt speaker will not be two times loud than a five watt speaker. Actually, when you double the wattage, there is only a difference of 20 to 30% in loudness, considering all the material in the speaker is the same. Now a difference of 10 decibel means this is twice as loud as this speaker. The only thing about loudness is decibels and sadly no manufacturer mentions decibel because it is not good for marketing. And of course, this is not a scientific or lab test. This is more of a like real life environment and in lab, the numbers will change. Next up, we have this massive 55 watt Bluetooth tower speaker from Zook. In simple words, a tower speaker is basically a couple of Bluetooth speaker placed on top of each other like a tower and put together in one big box. And the best part is... Power on. Bluetooth mode. That's not the best part. And the best part is it costs only three and a half thousand for a speaker this big. Now in the box you get the remote, a power cable is attached which means unlike other speakers this doesn't have batteries. You need a continuous power supply and a few AV cables in case you want to use it with your TV. Honestly that's quite a lot for three and a half thousand. It also supports karaoke mic which you'll have to buy separately for 500 rupees. Now the first thing that comes into mind is when you see a speaker this big and this cheap How's the audio quality? If you see here on the front, it comes with two 10 watt speakers and on the other side, there is a 30 watt subwoofer. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting the audio quality to be at all good, but I was surprised. It's actually quite good. The bass is really, really good. Audio isn't very clear, but decent and there's not much distorting at 100% volume. Especially given the price of the item is just three and a half thousand, it's quite good. Apart from that, you get quite a lot of option on the speaker. Like you can connect a pen drive, adjust bass, change the modes and other fun stuff. Overall, if you're looking for a loud Bluetooth speaker for house parties or even to watch movies on TV, this one is worth considering, especially for the price of three and a half thousand. It's pretty good. You must be thinking, why not a smart speaker, right? Well, number one, 
it needs continuous power supply and even there are solutions on amazon to solve this continuous power supply problem the next problem is you would need to have a continuous wi-fi connection and even if you say prateek I can just use my phone's hotspot for that. Well, then why not just buy a Bluetooth speaker? Also, Amazon does sell portable Echo speaker, but if you want to know more about it, here's a good video on what Echo devices you should buy. So, overall for most people, if I have to recommend one Bluetooth speaker, it will be JBL Go 3. It's cheap, portable, loud and yet has that good sound quality and bass. Sony is also good, but the audio is too low, so if you can live with that, you can consider it for people looking for big loud bluetooth speaker and for house parties and watching movies on tv all of that then zoo gladiator 55 watt bluetooth tower is a good option on that note this is pradeek signing off see you in the next video if you're looking for good tws and neckbands here's a good video and bye, -bye.